It's important that we have sustainability standards for fisheries because that level of assurance, everybody being confident that the program that they're part of is really driving towards meaningful progress is a big part of what allows fisheries to come together with their supply chain partners, to come together with governments and actually make meaningful progress and go forward. <laughs> All right, that's somebody, good. Somebody cue you again? The MSC is an international NGO, and our mission is to protect the world's oceans by providing a mechanism for recognizing and rewarding sustainable fishing practices. We're an eco-labeling certification organization. So we provide a mechanism for seafood consumers to have a high degree of assurance that the seafood they're choosing in the supermarket um, comes from a sustainably managed fishery. Globally, overfishing is on the rise. About 38% of global fish stocks are currently overfished. We know that broadly speaking, um, healthy ocean ecosystems are important to sustain life on the planet. But even more specifically, there's about 38 million people around the world who are employed in the seafood sector. And there's about 3 billion people around the world that rely on seafood as a principal source of protein in their diets. So if overfishing continues to persist, continues to get worse, it puts a lot more at risk than just the health of some fish. It has impacts on people. It has impacts on life on Earth. So there's a number of challenges to managing fisheries more sustainably. We need investments in science, we need investments in fisheries management at national and subnational government levels. We need really strong engagement from the seafood industry. But we also need mechanisms to give fisheries a reason. They're in the business of going out and harvesting and catching fish and getting it into the marketplace. I think it really helps to drive improvements in fisheries when fishermen know that there's a demand from their supply chains for sustainably harvested seafoods. And we've seen that demand drive a lot of improvements. I think there's a lot of things that are often missed when it comes to fishery certification and talking to consumers about sustainability. I think one of the big ones is the amount of work that has to happen behind the scenes to provide a consistently high level of assurance to consumers that when they see that MSC blue label on a seafood product, that they can have a high degree of confidence that it goes back to an MSC certified fishery. The MSC fishery standard um, is based in the UNFAO code of conduct. And what it looks at is the effort on that target stock of fish. It looks at the impact of the fishing activity on ocean ecosystems. Bycatch impacts on threatened and endangered species, what kind of impacts on habitat, and ensures that those are within sustainable levels. And then finally, it looks at the management systems. Is the fishery operating legally? Does it have all of the requisite management measures in place to ensure that it continues to be sustainable? By providing a program that has such a high degree of rigor and a high degree of assurance behind it, we're helping to contribute to seafood companies and being able to speak with a high degree of confidence and frankly pride about the work they're doing to make the oceans more sustainable. Mm -hmm.